Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe. We are trying to get to 4,000 watch hours and 2,000 subscriptions. All right, everyone. I'm your highly illustrious President Ross, and today we have a great map. As the lady said, please share these videos on Facebook, everywhere you go, Twitter, Instagram, uh, chat, snap, and all of them, because we're trying to get the word out there. If there's a candidate that is winning and you don't want them to win, you want them to see this video, and you want them to tell the people in the states that you want to flip to go out and vote for the candidate of your choosing. We are unbiased, and we do not pick sides. Let's get started. We have Washington State with 12 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. Oregon with 8 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. California with 54 electoral votes is blue for Kamala Harris. There's something I want to bring up about California. I brought it up a few times. We've seen people that are like, California is turning red. California red for Trump. It's not going to turn red for Trump. He's not going to flip it. You guys can get that out of your mind. California is a deep blue for years to come. All right, Alaska with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Montana with four electoral votes up top is red for Donald J. Trump. Idaho with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. I want to make note that we are pulling these statistics averages from Real Clear Polling, 538 to win, and 270 to win.com. Also mixing with the Resuman and Nick Silverman uh, charts and percentages. Those are our sources for this video. Wyoming with three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Nevada with six electoral votes is a light pink. Two clicks for Donald J. Trump. It's still either or it could toss up. Will it make or break this election? Probably not because it's only six votes. He can still win and flip an additional two states and beat Kamala Harris. Or she can win all three and beat Donald J. Trump. Utah with six electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona is a light pink. It's 11 votes for Donald J. Trump. It could be either or, just like Nevada. He's been trying to win these two states for the last month and a half. Colorado, with 10 electoral votes, is a light blue for Kamala Harris. New Mexico, with 5 electoral votes, is a light blue for Kamala Harris. They're going to stay blue. She's probably going to win Colorado and New Mexico. Um, and North Dakota, with 3 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. South Dakota, with Three electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. And once again, Nebraska, the state itself is red. The first district of Nebraska is red. And the littlest district of Nebraska is blue for Kamala Harris. And the reds for Donald J. Trump. Kansas, with six electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Oklahoma, with seven electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Texas, with 40 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Uh, correction, it is light pink for Donald J. Trump. She's not going to flip it, probably. Uh, blue is Hawaii on the very bottom. Four electoral votes. Blue for Kamala Harris. It's a deep blue. It's gone light blue and then back to dark blue. It's, Hawaii is going to be blue, no matter how many comments we say saying, Hawaii red for Donald J. Trump. We have like three or four of those. It's not happening. You guys keep dreaming. Uh, ten electoral votes. Minnesota blue for Kamala. Oh, wait, this chart actually says it is... Light blue for Kamala Harris. The percentages are shifting. Uh, we almost thought that Donald Trump had it uh, for a, as he says, by a whisker. <laughs> that doesn't sound like something he would say. I think he makes fun of that now that the news said that he said that. Um, but by a whisker, it's a light blue. Usually it's been between light blue but heavy blue since the beginning of um, September. Now it's a light blue. Iowa, shockingly, is once again a light pink. For Donald J. Trump, it's usually been a heavy red, but not here lately. Missouri, with 10 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Arkansas, with 6 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Louisiana, with 8 electoral votes, is red for Donald J. Trump. Wisconsin, once again, a battleground, is a light brown pink, which would be two clicks or three clicks. Yes, that. With 10 electoral votes, Donald Trump keeps doing rallies here. Kamala Harris has had three rallies here. They're fighting neck and neck for this state. It is a battleground. He needs this and his only pathway to victory, unless he can flip a blue state such as Colorado and Minnesota, which is very unlikely, he needs this state to win. 
Um, Kamala can win both of these, and she can flip the other five battlegrounds and honestly just utterly destroy him. It's anyone's game right now. Michigan with 15 electoral votes is light brown, <laughs> like uh, Wisconsin. For uh, Donald J. Trump, 15 electoral votes. He needs this state, absolutely needs it, um, in order to secure a firm victory. Not to win, but to secure a firm victory. He needs this. So there's no contestation. No, let's recount the votes by the other side, or let's no, let's recount the votes like Donald Trump would ask too. They would both ask to recount votes in Michigan and Wisconsin at this point. Um, so he needs a solid victory. She needs a solid victory in order for there to be no questions about integrity. Indiana with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Illinois with 19 electoral votes is a light blue. It's whoa, light blue. Wow, yeah, right. That's a uh, that's interesting for Illinois. Um, Going back to Ohio, it is 17, a light red one click for Donald Trump, 17 electoral votes. Kentucky with eight electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. West Virginia with four electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Tennessee with 11 electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Alabama with nine electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Mississippi with six Electoral votes is red for Donald J. Trump. Florida is a light pink. It's two clicks, 30 electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. He's probably going to win it. Uh, Florida, a lot of people don't know this. Florida used to be a battleground state. It would go either way. For the last two cycles, it has been red. So uh, people love Ron DeSantis. Some people hate him. The Democrats there hate him. The California transfers hate him. But the Republicans, a vast majority, love him, except for the people that look into his donors, which are all top Democrat donors. Um... Georgia, with 16 electoral votes, battleground state, is a light pink two clicks for Donald J. Trump. He was slated to not win Georgia. He now might win Georgia. It's flip-flop between blue, light blue, uh, toss-up, light red, lighter red, and then deep red this cycle in the last month. It's going back and forth. Um, South Carolina is a dark red, nine electoral votes for Donald J. Trump. North Carolina, with 16 electoral votes, is... A light pink two clicks for Donald J. Trump. Virginia is a toss-up. It will not be colored in at all. Pennsylvania is a light pink two clicks, I believe, or three. We'll check it out. Right there, yeah. 19 electoral votes is light pink for Donald J. Trump. In Maine, the very top state is red again, deep red, for Donald J. Trump. The district of Maine... Um, to the bottom right of it is deep blue for Kamala Harris. And it looks like the rest of them, to varying degrees, are blue for Kamala Harris. While she's filling these in, Pennsylvania is Donald Trump's last hope to win. He needs Pennsylvania, or he needs to flip all five of the battleground states in order to win. This election is neck and neck. It's very, very back and forth. There's not much wiggle room for Donald Trump to win. The fact that Democrats have California, a stronghold on California, 54 electoral votes, plus Washington, which is 12, plus Oregon, which is 8, plus Hawaii, which is 4. That doesn't sound like a lot, but the 54 in those four states together on the left side of the map, oh my God, that gives them such an advantage right off the bat. Plus New York having 28 electoral votes. Plus Illinois having 19 electoral votes with all the murders on the weekend. It is just absolutely insane. Let's show what would happen to the votes because right now the Democrats are at 211 and Republican Donald J. Trump is at 310. It's bags. And I'm President Ross. And we're out. Burnt.